Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to Fears to Fathom, Home Alone, a newly released indie game horror series that focuses on standalone different horror stories, the first of which is Home Alone, where you play a 14-year-old who's home alone, but not for long. July 12th. I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. Reddit? I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. I guess I'll just start. It was the middle of the summer. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip. Which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day. As of a lot of young people. <laughs> Though I did plan on fixing that. Ugh. Never should've stayed up late watching all that anime. I woke up at around 8 after a nap that evening. If this is about a survivor, and I'm assuming this is probably one of those, like, horror story reddits, um... Can we even, like, game over? Is that canon? Who's tell who tells a story if we die, you know what I mean? I did have homework that night, but I was too hungry. Really did have to do homework, but I said I had to eat something first. Gotta go eat before we do our homework. Oh look, text messages. Mom. Let's see. Let's see if we can go back to the beginning. Wait, when are you guys gonna be back? Dad are I gonna be back on Monday, honey? Didn't I tell you that yesterday? Cool. Take your honey sleep on time. I hope you get the Xbox like you promised. I mean, if you get that discount, can I invite Mason and Josh over for the night for homework? Of course you can. Call me if you need anything. Make sure to check it's them on the door before opening it. Check for the blinds. Take care, honey. Sure thing, Mom. Dad might be back on my Sunday evening. Why are you being so paranoid, Mom? I'm 14. I think I'm gonna take a little nap. Probably gonna order some pizza. Yes. No need to order anything. Already made you the lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Mason and Oliver. Yo, you come in Jessica's tomorrow. I must kind of skip through this one a little bit. My parents are out for the night. Want to come over? We can play Mario Kart. Nice. I'll let you know. Okay, it'll cost Josh too. Can't promise to. I may have plans of that. Okay. Well. There's like a... I'm assuming that's the uh, parents' room right there. See the crouch. That's how we look out the front door. Can I just open the front door right now? I can. I think I can walk outside. Everything is perfectly fine. Cool. So let's get some food. There'll be no food to be had in the here. I think this is a Unity house, isn't it? Or it's like a variation of it. It's very similar. We gotta eat... Lasagna. Are we Garfield? Food was cold. It's my microwave. Just throw it on the stove. Need to warm my food up first. There's like a slightly odd noise and it kind of bothers me. Food was heating up. Oh yeah, we have a back door. Don't want to go out at night. I think it's done. Food was nice and hot. It just the lasagna teleported into my hands. 
I liked watching TV while I ate. Okay, just... Okay, eat some nice lasagna. I'm gonna eat a whole pan of lasagna while I eat TV. I'm gonna eat it like damn popcorn. Maybe I should turn on the TV. Yum. Eating a whole lasagna. I'm Garfield Meow. God, we're really going at it. I keep poking towards the window because I'm a little worried about that. I was already feeling very sleepy after eating the food. Just turn off the TV. Throw that pan on the ground. My own boss, I can throw that pan wherever I want. Oh look, Mason's texting me. We're gonna have to call it off, man. Something just came up. But you gotta come to Jessica's tomorrow. Sure. No, oh, I don't think I can send messages back. Well, it's still, like, pretty normal. I mean, nothing scary has kind of happened. Sorry, Miles. Gotta see you tomorrow. Chill out, all dude. All good. Probably just go back to bed for Kim. Well, let's do our homework. Twelve forty-eight a.m. Yeah, we're up pretty late. I got done with homework for the day in about a few hours. Good for you. You get that homework done. Oh look, mom's texting me. Don't stay up late, you kids. I should get to hear from Mister Miss Paula this time. Listen, Mom, no one's home to tell me what to do. I do what I want. Good night. I always close my door before going to bed. <laughs> You're one of those people. The whole, like... I myself used to sleep with my door open. Uh... I know a lot, I know most people, like, they, they close their door when they go to sleep. I used to sleep with it open. And you may think, oh, that makes you more, like, scary and stuff, but I was okay with that. Because I was like, if I left it open... Scary things would visit me, which is a positive. Because I didn't care. I thought it'd be kind of cool. I got to get some water. 1.16 a.m. Now, if this were me, I would be up to 3 or 4 a.m. And I'd be getting water here and there throughout the night. Gotta surf those old forums. Go in those Yahoo chat rooms, of course. Get some water here. Pretty bright night out, actually. Right click to drink. Mmm, fresh water. Why is there scary music? I think I got enough water. Let's go back to bed. Oh look, mom's texting me. Miles? Who's that on the door? Wait, what? Paula sent me. Said he's been creeping through the windows. We're calling the cops. You kids locked up every door and hiding in your room. Don't answer the door no matter what he does. Wait, I didn't see anyone out here. Oh, there's a person. As I tried to creep through the blinds, he looked straight at me. Hey. I felt my heart skip a beat. 
Maybe they're friendly. Can I lock it or... Wait, they're gone. Oh God! I take it that was a, a future that wasn't supposed to happen. Lock every door and hide in your room. Don't answer that door. Can I lock it? Hopefully. I think my neighbor's coming over. Wow. I hope that's a neighbor. They might be in the house, so we shouldn't go outside to answer the door, even if the neighbor knocks. It could be a trap. Because it could very well be in the house. Don't ask the door no matter what he does. Do you hear? It's Paul in the door. Mom's so sorry, honey. Everything's gonna be alright. I still don't trust it. Who is he? No, it's a trap. Click to hide. Maybe we do have to go to the door? Guys, we're not gonna be killed. Oh god. Do I go? Sure. Cops. I think we made it. We cool? Yeah. Stop bringing. I'm not going out till the cops are here. Okay. So that's it for Fear to Fathom Home Alone. That's a pretty creepy horror game. It, it was creepy in a pretty grounded way. Uh, it is following that house unity structure. They usually do have that format where it's like a little slow build up. There's like a jump scare at the end. Sometimes there'll be like text messages or something because they have limitations of what they can develop within that format. But this was taking, like I said, the grounded structure, a very realistic kind of story. Maybe it's based off a true, true story. Maybe it's not. It's whatever. It, it's a normalish kind of horror thing. I myself have seen people kind of like jump fences, try and get in yards and kind of retreat when they see people were there. As a little kid growing up, like kind of like this kid here, since my parents were always out working all the time, because they were hard workers, I myself, uh, since there was some break-ins in the area, I used to, uh, whenever I was home alone, I was like, especially if like, I was in like a bathroom or taking a shower somewhere, I'm like a little vulnerable. It's like late at night, you can't really necessarily figure out if someone's approaching your house or not. I used to take a knife in with me to like the shower. That might be sound overkill, but you never know. Break-ins do happen. And I would hide it in my towel as I would exit the shower. So um, as I would like, cause the shower was next to the kitchen. So as I would exit the shower and kind of scan my house, make sure you're like, oh, nothing looks a little bit weird or anything. Um, I would kind of keep it hidden in the towel. And years later, actually, not when I'm a little kid, but you know, I'm a little bit older. Uh, I remember that actually was someone banging on the door late at night. My dad came to me when I was sleeping, woke me up. And it was like, someone's banging on like, someone's outside. And it was about 4 3 a.m. in the morning. And I asked him like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? Is it an animal? And he said, like, no, I was working on some stuff in the garage, and someone was, like, banging real loud on the, the side door, you know, on the garage door. So I, I grabbed my revolver and kind of, like, went around, like, the windows, checking the windows. 
uh, checking out like the door stuff with in a way that was my gun was very visible. So that way, if they were kind of snooping around and looking around, they would see me purposely in the window and be like, "All right, we're not going here, and we're gonna leave somewhere else." But I grew up in I grew up in some very very rough areas. Let's say that. So I'm very intimate with the keeping eye out and the threat of home invasion. <laughs> so this kind of brought back memories. But yeah. Anyway. So thank you all for watching. Play Fears to Fathom Home Alone. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.